second guys we're going to go over a little bit about one of our holsters here uh, so go check us out at defensetraining.org backslash holsters all right we're going to go over the three-point retention system on our holsters all of our holsters come with that uh, most a lot of your holsters are going to have the full belt wing some of them will have the half belt wing even though even if it has the half belt wing it's still going to have that three point retention you've got a point here and you've got a point here now this part of the retention what it does is when you especially for you inside the waistband carriers what this does is when your belt pulls super tight and pulls your grip back in if we didn't have this here it would actually make it too hard to get your gun out uh, so this acts as a retention and a stop uh, so when you're doing any kind of your adjusting, the first point, if you if you can see, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but this is actually uh, squeezed in a little more than these are. So this is where I would suggest you to um, start at. If it's too tight, loosen that up a little bit, uh, and then you can start adjusting these two. And what we're looking for in the retention, take an unloaded firearm, unloaded magazine, we're gonna put it back in, and we're gonna to wanna to hear that audible snap. So that has the audible snap. Now with the retention, what we want is we don't want it just falling out. So it's not just falling out, but we also want to be able to grab the gun and just pull it out fairly easy. You don't want it sloppy pulling out, but you want a good firm grip, be able to pull that gun out. And that's where we want the retention at. That's all we really need, uh, especially for inside the waistband. For you outside the waistband carriers, you may want to get it a little bit snugger in there so you have to get a good firm jerk so I can go here uh, and that way if somebody does walk up and try to grab your gun you've got that feel and then you can protect your gun. Uh, I highly suggest keeping your situational awareness uh, in the yellow uh, at all times, know what's around you uh, but there may be that moment that you uh, fall axe uh, and if it does, you don't want it to just be able to somebody just grab it and just pull it real easy so you might want to tighten this retention up just a little bit more so it's so this isn't going to pull it and you've really got to yank it all right so and we can adjust that now of course you don't have to have this type of uh gun just a typical uh screwdriver uh, but this is what we put our holsters together and you just tighten or loosen any of these And that's how you adjust the retention. So it's got your three points of retention. Uh, now, another thing with the retention, especially for my inside the waistband carriers, you've got this belt wing with the riser. Now this belt wing here has, most of yours should come with the smaller riser on it. Now we throw them together and typically look for that smaller riser. Uh, you know, if we get busy and really throwing some holsters out, um, we may accidentally put the larger riser on there because these do not come assembled. We assemble these in house and the larger riser, it's not a whole lot of difference, but it is larger. Uh, so you see it's a little bit higher and if it's not pushing your grip back into your body the way you want, if it's not quite pulling it back into the body the way you want it to, you can put the higher riser. Now when you go to the higher riser, you're probably going to have to loosen this one up. You want to adjust it probably almost all the way out. Uh, to where it's fully expanded here because uh, it's gonna when you put that larger riser in there it's gonna push a little bit on its own uh, so it's gonna add the retention for you inside the waistband carriers uh, there now if you get your gun or you get your holster and you put your gun in it and you put it depending on where you wear it at your waist I wear it the appendix carry um, but these can be wear, worn anywhere around the waistband uh, if you've got it say on that five or six o'clock depending on where you like to sit on your side on the inside of the waistband depending on how tight your belt is if your belt is super tight it's going to push on this so it's going to do this if you can see that it's going to start doing that if it is doing that and if you have the large riser on there go to the small riser if you have the small riser on there go to no riser go here and it will still do the same thing to pull that grip in but just because you've got the belt so tight, you don't need the riser at that point. Pull that riser off, because what happens is, if you've got it so tight in your waistband, and, you, and it's pulling it in, and it pulls this in, it, this can make it harder to draw. So if you pull that riser off, just have just the belt wing, 
that should give you enough relief to where it will still pull the grip in and you can draw your gun easily. Uh, so if you're having problems there, those are three things you can do. You can adjust these two up here, you can adjust that one, and you can play with your riser or no riser. You can even pull the riser off. Now for your outside the waistband guys, I suggest just pulling the riser off altogether. You don't need it. However, leave the belt wing on because this actually adds stabilization to the holster and I just suggest leaving it there. All right, so that's how you adjust your retention on these. And if you're looking, if you're having a time with that, uh, just go for that. Just try your three point adjustment system. Try with your belt wing, get it comfortable. We've made these holsters to where you can adjust it to fit you. Uh, not, all, not all of our bodies are the same. You know, I'm a, I'm a fairly small guy. Uh, I don't have a lot of meat on my body or around my waist. However, some of you may. Um, or some of you may be even smaller than I am and instead of the small you need the bigger belt wing or some of you may be larger and you need the, small, the no belt wing. Uh, that just depends on your body type, how you're built. Uh, we've, we've made these so that they are totally adjustable to the person uh, so that each individual can get it. You can start playing with these adjustments and then playing with the risers or no riser and get it to where it fits, it's comfortable and it works for you. Alright guys, this is Spencer with Defense Training and Holsters by Defense Training. I uh, hope this helps you out uh, to fit your holster to meet your needs.